Hi, this is Hangman. This video is about Canadian Ethereum ETF. We'll look at why would you buy an ETF, what are the details around these ETFs, and who approved these ETFs. So why would you get an ETF? Well, if you're Canadian, these ETFs are all eligible for tax-free savings accounts. You can also purchase them in a deferred account, like a registered retirement savings plan. They're all simple to buy, just like you would buy any stock through your broker. And they also afford you the luxury of not having to worry about a wallet. So old way, you'd have to move your money to an exchange, buy Ethereum, then move it to a hot or cold wallet. And every one of those arrows could involve a fee. You would also, the old way, be in charge of possibly managing your private keys. So you are performing custody on your private keys. Through these ETFs, of course, all of that goes away. You don't have to worry about any of that. Also, all of these ETFs, according to their prospectus, hold Ether in cold storage. And so this way, you're afforded the same benefit as any other stock you'd buy, the same security. So again, they do have physical settlement, as I mentioned. So they all hold your Ether in cold storage. So for all these reasons, you might want to look at an ETF. So let's take a look at them in order. So the first one we'll look at is from Purpose Investment. You can see it started on April 20th. They have three flavors. The first one, ETHH, is hedged. We'll talk about that a little later. The second flavor is in Canadian dollars, and the third one is in US dollars. Custodian is Seidel. The management fee is 1%, and you can see there the approximate amount of Ether that each share represents. And so they try to keep them all around the same dollar value. The next one we have is from a company called Evolve ETF. Again, it released the same day, April 20th. They have two flavors, the Canadian one, ETHR, and the U.S. denominated flavor. Same custodian, little less management fee, 0.75%, approximately the same number of ETH per share. And if you purchase this one before May 31st, they're waiving the management fee. Our third one is from CI Investments. They've teamed up with Galaxy Investments, which you might know as Michael Novogratz. That's why it's called CI Galaxy Ethereum ETF. They also have two flavors, Canadian and US denominated. They also launched on the same day, April 20th, same custodian, and the management fee is 0.4%. And they are also waiving that fee if you purchase before June 15th. All of these are available on the Toronto Stock Exchange. So for those of you outside of Canada, you'd have to see if your broker allows you to purchase anything off of the Toronto Stock Exchange. And if they do, are there any associated fees with purchasing something from the Toronto Stock Exchange? Here's a quick table. Only the first one from Purpose Investments has a hedged version. The hedged in Canadian dollars means if you are trying to manage whether the Canadian dollar goes up or down relative to the US, you'd buy the hedged one. If you're not worried about that, if you don't worry about that, you can buy the normal Canadian dollar one. Or if you're outside of Canada, you might want the US denominated version. All right, so who approved these ETFs? Well, the Securities and Exchange Commission in the States did not approve these ETFs. These are all approved by the OSC the Ontario Securities Commission, which is situated in Ontario, Canada, which is where the TSX, the Toronto Stock Exchange is. Now, again, all of these have cold storage, which is good, but we don't know what percentage of their assets are in cold storage. Even though they all have the same custodian, they might have different percent. Also, we don't know how much of these funds are insured by the administrator and how much is insured by the custodian. Those things might cause you to pick one over the other. And also, we don't know how well each of these tracks to the price of Ethereum because they all opened up on the same day, April 20. So we have to give that some time. So those factors might help you to decide which ETF to pick. So in summary, these ETFs are great if you're Canadian because they're eligible for tax-free and tax deferred accounts. They all have pretty close management fees and all of them say they hold your ether in cold storage and that it's somewhat insured. We don't know how much. And again, we don't know how well each of them track 
to Ethereum. So those things might help you to decide by picking one ETF over another, but all things being equal, you might just go for the one with the lowest management fee, which right now is 0.4%. Not bad. So I hope this gives you an idea of what is available. And again, all of these ETF companies, the three we looked at, also offer a Bitcoin ETF. Link to that video up above. This is Handman saying, see you in the next video. Thank you.